And now, the general weather around Alaska. Welcome to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan, coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Tuesday, November 25th, 2025. And we are heading into the Thanksgiving Day holiday and leading up to it, there will be some areas of more active weather, but at this point, no major storms. But as we head into the end of this month and early December, there could be a few different systems that really impact areas, southern parts of the state and along uh, the Gulf Coast. But in the meantime, if you're going to be doing any traveling later this Tuesday night, Wednesday into Thanksgiving Day, there will be some areas of blowing snow, especially northeast and north of Fairbanks along the Dalton and Elliott highways, including the White Mountains, Gobbler's Knob. Uh, you could encounter some stronger gusty winds and reduce visibility in blowing snow. Otherwise, the attention turns further south. Uh, there is going to be wind, rain, and some coastal mountain snows uh, from around Kodiak Island, the north end of the Alaska Peninsula, on up along the Kenai Peninsula, Prince William Sound. And eventually, some of that moisture will spread into the panhandle early this weekend, if not late Friday night, Saturday into Sunday. And initially, there could be some accumulating snow in parts of the northern panhandle with that push of moisture before it tends to go more toward rain. And overall, as I hinted at, an active storm track is shaping up from the North Pacific coming along the Alaska Peninsula, Kodiak Island, and the Gulf into the Panhandle for next week into next weekend. So looking at a couple of the FAA webcams on this Tuesday afternoon, Jafornak out there in the uh, lower Yukon uh, Delta region and uh, the Kuskokwim Delta region, enjoying some drier weather, clear skies, but brisk, East northeasterly winds 15 to 25 miles an hour temperature, 15 degrees there near the coast. Meanwhile, Kodiak, few light rain showers. Uh, look for the wind and rain to in be increasing later tonight, especially Wednesday, as that surge of moisture comes up out of the North Pacific temperature there this Tuesday afternoon, 40 degrees. So uh, as far as hazardous weather goes, we do have a special weather statement out for this area north and northwest of Fairbanks, including the White Mountains and Gobbler's Knob along the Dalton and Elliott Highways. There could be some blowing snow there, especially later tonight through Wednesday into Thanksgiving Day. Winds could gust 30, 40 miles an hour, especially along uh, some of the uh, higher terrain there. Otherwise, the rest of the state, quiet for now. Can't rule out coming up here as we approach uh, Thanksgiving and certainly by the weekend that there could not be some advisories or warnings. In the meantime, we do have a few different areas of low pressure. One of them is sitting off of the outer coast of the Panhandle. A little, uh, another one out here uh, toward the eastern Aleutians, another weak one up here in, into the Bering, but no uh, real strong organized uh, storms at this point. But we are going to watch a surge of moisture come out of the North Pacific heading up toward Kodiak Island and along the northwestern and northern Gulf Coast uh, as we go through later Wednesday and on Thanksgiving Day. So taking a look at the weather map late this Tuesday night, early, uh, very early uh, Wednesday morning, we have a weak area of low pressure uh, off of the, uh, in the southeastern Gulf, just off of the outer panhandle. And then a couple of lows kind of spinning about each other here near and south of the central Aleutians. And I should have noted the high pressure. There's a stronger high pressure up over the Arctic Ocean and Beaufort Sea that'll build into Northwest Canada and strengthen through the holiday. It'll be located over the Yukon and Northwest Territories with a central pressure rising to about 1045 millibars. Meanwhile, the two lows were kind of dumbbelling around and south of the uh, central Aleutians. A new low and surge of moisture is going to come northward out of the North Pacific on Wednesday afternoon. That's going to bring wind and rain to Kodiak Island. That's going to spread northward along the Kenai Coast, the entrance of Cook Inlet, the eastward facing slopes of the Alaska Range on the other side of Cook Inlet. And by the time we get into Thanksgiving Day, we have the low actually pulls back toward Bristol Bay and Kuskokwim Bay with this front pushing ahead of it with the main moisture feed kind of pulling eastward along the eastern Kenai, including Seward, Prince William Sound. And eventually, by the time we get into the weekend, this moisture will be pulling into the panhandle. But before then, for Thanksgiving Day, we have high pressure out over northwest Canada, more of a uh, easterly flow, offshore flow here uh, through the inner 
uh, channels of the panhandle. So there could be some, you know, uh, gap or outflow winds of that colder air over British Columbia. And also we'll find uh, some gustier winds, as I mentioned, uh, continuing up in central parts of the interior. But uh, as we watch, there's another low well south of the Aleutians and other energy coming up out of the North Pacific for later in the weekend. So we have another little low come up into the Western Gulf for Friday with some additional precipitation along uh, the Gulf Coast, the Eastern Kenai on up uh, on over toward and east of Cape Suckling through Yakutat. And this will push moisture into the Panhandle later Friday night and on Saturday. Could be some accumulating snow, icy straight corridor this region. However, back to the Southwest, here's the next notable low. This one is gonna be a moist and mild one. So as it comes northeastward, it's gonna spread moisture along the Alaska Peninsula, Kodiak Island, South Central, Cook Inlet, along the Gulf Coast. So stay tuned to later forecasts because this could have some um, more active weather with it, especially the latter portion of the weekend into early next week, which would begin uh, the start of December. Looking at temperatures, cold temperatures below zero along the Brooks Range North Slope, along the Alcan border, 10, 15 below in the normal cold spots. We have that big high in the Arctic Ocean building southeastward, the ridge building southeastward. So that's gonna help maintain some clearer skies and colder temperatures. Uh, through the eastern, northern uh, mainland and eventually into the panhandle. Temperatures cooling down into the 20s, uh, below freezing in the northern panhandle. As we look uh, f down along the Alaska Peninsula, temperatures will stay above freezing Kodiak Island and Chechnik on southwestward through the uh, Aleutian chain. Wednesday afternoon, we are looking for high temperatures the day before Thanksgiving in the 40s, mid 40s along the southern outer part of the panhandle probably staying below freezing there around Haines, Skagway. Uh, as we look along the Alcan border, temperatures a few degrees above or below zero. And then uh, temperatures uh, generally in the 30s above freezing from say Seward, Homer, down along the Alaska Peninsula with some lower 40s at Kodiak City. But again, you're gonna see increasing wind and rain uh, for Wednesday here across Kodiak Island, and that'll spread Wednesday night into Thursday up along the Kenai Coast into Prince William Sound. Thursday morning, Thanksgiving Day, early morning, lows uh, again 10, 15 below zero here across the North Slope, Brooks Range, Arctic Village, Yukon Flats, all the way down to Northway, so chilly temperatures there. And below freezing, notice it's cooling down now even into the uh, central panhandle. So you're going to have that high building over northwest Canada with the easterly flow bringing in the colder, drier air. Though you should see a fair amount of sun there in the panhandle, quiet weather day uh, for uh, Thanksgiving. But looking down along uh, the Alaska Peninsula into the Aleutians, temperatures there will stay above freezing as you get further south and west. And then for Thanksgiving day, Highs will make the lower, maybe mid 40s, 44, 45 around Craig, otherwise near or just above 40 at uh, Ketchikan and Sitka, uh, probably staying below freezing Haines and Skagway. And along the Elkan border, Yukon Flats, some temperatures do not get above zero on Thursday. Meanwhile, looking south and west, we have that one low that's gonna pull northwestward like this. As we get into Friday, another low coming up into the Western Gulf. So active weather over this region. Any rain that does fall here in the Kenai Peninsula, it could make for slippery roads, especially the, the western southern parts or around Seward because uh, it's been cold enough lately for the ground so that any rain that hits it will have a tendency to wanna freeze. And that's something to keep in mind. But here's something going into early December, the temperature forecast is for above normal temperatures across much of the state, especially the southeastern uh, third of the mainland that includes Cook Inlet, Kenai Peninsula, Anchorage to Fairbanks, Northway, the central eastern Alaska Range, Copper River Basin, down into the northern and central Panhandle. Thing is, above normal temperatures in December, especially when it is the result of a moist flow of air coming in off of the North Pacific and Gulf, lends toward heavier precipitation in areas that are further inland or higher in elevation. That translates to heavier snow. Coastal areas, mainly cold rain, but 
in that transition zone. There could be some mixed icy precipitation. And right now, the outlook for early December, as I hinted at, we have going to have a more active weather pattern. A storm track coming out of the North Pacific and brushing the Alaska Peninsula along the Gulf. And if we can get that moisture pull in, inland further, up through the Copper River Basin, across the Alaska Range toward Fairbanks, some of these areas could pick up some heavier snowfall to start off the month of December. So stay tuned to later forecast. I'll be here through Thanksgiving Day giving the weather outlooks and I'll let you know if I see anything interesting coming up here as we move toward December.